Hi guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Linnell. If you're a returning subscriber, it's so nice to have you here again. My family and I recently relocated to Edmonton, Canada, and today for the first time, <laughs> we are cleaning the apartment. And we have been here for probably five or six days. I know it sounds gross, but to be fair, we rented a vehicle for the first nine days because we really wanted to take advantage of having mobility to go around and do all of the errands to get our open our bank account, get our health card, our ID card and all of the things. We have two kids. We thought it would be a better idea to rent a vehicle for the first couple of days. And so we have spent more time outside of the house than inside of the house. And um, now that all of our errands are done, we're finally about to settle in into the house and so we need to clean we have quite a few appliances that I haven't touched the dryer the washing machine the dishwasher I really want to clean um, all of those places you know to help settle in so that's what's on the agenda for today I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it all in one day I have two kids I have to make lunch um, we might have to run an errand or two so we're gonna start and I will walk you through everything that I'm doing. We have quite a few appliances that um, we are not used to. We have a dryer, a dishwasher, that kind of thing that we need to clean so that we can use. So let's get so started. So we are gonna start off in the bathroom. I think that will make me feel a little bit more accomplished. I wanna do the bathtub and um, just wipe down the counters, clean the bathroom, the toilet and all of that jazz. I also need to hang up our towels no. i brought i bought some command hooks to get rid of them over the doors and on the kitchen countertop because you know it doesn't look good <laughs> these really cool cases from Temu. They're like a dollar or something and I feel like they're so cool. Um, they're a nice little organizational tool. So have it linked below if you guys are interested. Mm-hmm. You have to shake it a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Now, put it here. Step on it a couple times. Look for the dry spots. Mm -hmm. Look for the dry spots and do it. I think there's one over there by the door. Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay. So the bathroom is all done. I feel really good about that. Um, we still need a shower curtain. I didn't do the window because I don't have a window cleaner per se and it's kind of clean so I'll just leave it for now. But it's all done and I think I'm gonna go tackle the washer and dry it now. This area here needs to be cleaned. I know usually the filter. See? So this definitely needs to be cleaned as well. Ugh. And um, inside here, inside here is usually pretty clean. And then in here, um, the rubber can get pretty dirty. Oh my goodness. You see that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so this needs to be clean. And the reason why I know this, even if I don't have a front loader, is because I follow a lot of Instagram cleaning accounts. <laughs> and then, I think here you're supposed to take this off as well and then there's a okay I'm coming and then there's a filter here but if you take it out it's going to pour water so I need a towel to put here and to clean this out here as well upstairs is pretty much done i was able to put the towels up on the door we had to wait an hour for the adhesive to strengthen or something like that so bathroom is done wash and dryer is done one of the tips that i've read in keeping the little silicone rubber thing around the washer clean is to let it air dry um, after you've washed so instead of closing it shut when you're done you leave it open for a little while so it can air dry and then afterwards you can close it so upstairs is done i want to do the rugs but the rugs might take a while ibrahim already vacuumed it we vacuumed it when we just got the vacuum machine just to test it out he did the entire upstairs what i really want to do is to sprinkle baking soda on the carpet let it sit for a little while and vacuum it up but i don't think i'm gonna do that today so i think i'll leave that for a later day it's not smelly or anything so i'm not too worried about that and that helps deodorize but i don't have that issue so i'm gonna head downstairs i might be able to do everything today i'm gonna head downstairs
Okay, dishwasher is done. Did you guys see how disgusting <laughs> that was? Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, so I'm done cleaning it. I put a bowl of vinegar in there. The videos that I watched said you have to put it on the highest temperature, the longest cycle, and you put like a cup of vinegar in there. Some places said put it on the top, some places said put it on the bottom. Eh. I put it where the bowl can fit, okay? I also had vinegar inside of the microwave, so I'm about to clean that now, and then I'll do the oven. The oven is actually pretty clean. Then I'm gonna also pass disinfectant wipes inside of all of the cupboards, and then mop the kitchen, and we'll be done for the day. proud of myself i feel like the house is nice and disinfected and deodorized and clean the only thing i didn't do was the fridge but i usually wipe down the fridge every time i put groceries in there so that's not much of a problem the only thing i would say that i really have to do is probably deodorize or disinfect the carpet i still need to do some research in terms of how to do it well but the house feels nice and clean and fresh if i had some candles i would light them or a diffuser which is on my list way at the bottom of my list we have a priority list because we need to get a job first <laughs> but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to hit the like button i hope you also enjoyed a few sneak peeks of the house if you want to see a full house tour or apartment tour don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell so you are aware when it comes out but that's it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for supporting our family and stepping alongside us on this new journey we're very excited stay tuned i have a lot more videos planned so stay tuned thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one bye